Hello there, and welcome to Broad Lane Leisure. My name's Adrian. I'm just going to give a very brief demonstration of the cooker facility, cooking facilities that we have in this Swift Base Camp 2020 model. Uh, it will be applicable to other ranges as well, uh, younger vehicles that, uh, such as the 2018 or 17 model that they produced. Uh, we do have similar equipment in both. So this is just the 2020 model that I'm in at the moment. So I'm going to rotate the gas valve from the off position as we are now to the full position. It has got an ignition seat, uh, electronic ignition built into it. And if I just ignite the flame, release the valve, that should then stay on. Just trying to see it. Hopefully you might be able to see the flame better. Uh, that's on the full flame. There's the low flame and off. Same applies to the other two rings. They're slightly larger in size. Once you've got them ignited, just keep them depressed for a few seconds, release, and there's the low settings on those particular items. So that's the three ring gas burner hob. As we come to the oven system, uh, it's just a slightly different variant from what we've already previously uh, videoed. Uh, we have got a little heat shield here that you need to pull forward, just so that any heat coming from the grill area actually just goes past these valves. It's only when the grill's in use, and nothing more than that. And there is a handle for the grill pan. Uh, but not locally that I can find. <laughs> As I said, this is one I prepared earlier. Uh, so there's the handle, comes in at 45 degrees and locks on to the uh, grill pan itself. That's just removable to make it easier for cleaning and obviously for transportation. When you come to operate the grill, you come to the valve on the left hand side of this cooker, you rotate it to the full flame, which is that. Again, press the valve in, strike the electronic igniter, and away it goes. After a few seconds, you can release the depressed valve, which I've done now, and that's on high, there's low, and that's a simple operation on the actual grill itself. When you lift the door back in place, um, sorry, I was gonna mention something else about this heat plate. Uh, perhaps the heat plate does need to be forward when the oven's in use as well, so, Sometimes that actually gets knocked back when you lift the grill door up, which is what I was going to point out, but in this case, you can still pull it forward, leave it forward. Rotate the valve again, all the way around to its highest setting, which is 240 degrees. Press the valve in, keep it depressed. Press the electronic igniter. Away the flame goes in the oven. Count a few seconds, release. Rotate the valve to the desired temperature. And that's a very simple operation of this particular Thetford oven. I hope you found the uh, video to be very useful. Thank you.